So this is a video just trying to explore the visualization of the peroneus brevis and longus muscle in the lateral compartment of the lower leg. Again, the easiest way to try and find this is not necessarily to place your probe directly onto the shin. It's actually to place your probe slightly more distal around that retromalleolar region where you've got the peroneus brevis and longus. So if we pop our probe on there in a short axis view and we reduce our depth accordingly on the image, we can see that characteristic appearance of the two perineal tendons. Now we know that if we come up a little bit more proximal, we've got the muscle belly of perineus brevis here coming into its tendon here. And this is the more superficial appearance of the perineus longus. And you can even see part of the perineal raculum, uh, retinaculum at that point as well. If we start to move our probe slowly and steadily more proximally, keeping those structures nicely centered in our screen using the appropriate frequency and depth, you can start to see that where my cursor is, we're seeing the expansion of the perineus brevis muscle. If we then keep on coming up, we can see how the perineus brevis muscle actually then starts to dive away onto its insertion onto the lateral aspect of the fibula. And then we start to see again, reduce or increase your depth slightly at this point. You start to see how the longus then starts to thin out at this point and you are into the muscle belly then of perineus longus. And that obviously inserts higher up onto the superior and lateral aspect of the fibula. And then at this point, you're looking at purely the muscle belly of perineus longus. So if we then start to roll back down, we see the formation of the longus tendon sitting most superficially. We then start to see, as we come to that lateral lower third of the fibula, the formation of the perineus brevis tendon here. That muscle still very much feeding into the tendon again. At this point, I want to reduce my depth, give myself the best opportunity to see this really nicely. Here we see muscle belly of brevis. This is the brevis tendon. The longest tendon is already formed. And as we come down, we see that brevis muscle, the last few fibers attach in and we end up with the two tendons here in the retromalleolar region just before we get to the CFL, the calcaneal fibular ligament, which we'll come on to later. But you see the longus and the brevis here. As we come up, you start to see the brevis formation. So hopefully that helps you identify the lateral compartment and those two muscle groups in particular.